Hello guys, this is how you take care of red crab, red clawed crabs. Um, basically these, the ones I've got now are nearly fully grown, so they won't get much bigger, um, well, the males won't get much bigger than one and a half inches max. Um, that's including their legs, that's like that big, it's not, it's not that big at all, but, um, now, one of the smallest crabs. Um, I originally was going to get some vampire crabs, but they're, they're a bit bigger. Um, so I decided to get these. Plus, red clawed crabs are easier to keep than vampire crabs. Because uh, they do swim and they like water as well. Whilst vampire crabs are more, more land. Um, if you want to see a walkthrough of, these, uh, of this tank. And know all the names of the plants. Um... I have already done a walkthrough, so you can check out one of my other videos saying what all this tank is about and everything. As you can see, I've got all live plants. They're growing really well. Um, so yeah, I think live plants is a way forward for most crustaceans, inverts and lizards. I'm not quite sure about snakes yet, um, because... Well, more of the heavy snakes will just like destroy all of them unless it's a tree or something. So let's get on, get on with the red clawed crabs. Um, I actually got them from aquatic place which didn't have um, heat, but they do need heat. As you can see, I don't because my room is already around 24 degrees. Probably not see him, but oh, focus. You got there's one and a little mealworm. Um, I did look up if they eat mealworms, and they do. Um, I put two in last night, and they scoffed them all down. Um, they completely demolished them. Um, like I say, they do eat all the isopods and uh, all the dirt and algae and. Java moss, which I've got loads on the background, as you can see there and there and there. Um, basically, uh, the part of the cleanup crew. Um, so you don't really need to feed them that much if it's an enclosure like this, where uh, there's already plants and uh, a, a bit of Java moss, which I'll put in there, and I've got another tub which I'll feed them off. Um, so yeah, so all the ice pods will have eggs and blah blah and breed and all that and they'll eat them. They'll eat all the dirt. Um, they're basically, you go home from school or something and the cleaners come in. They're basically the cleaners. Um, I do have all life plants in here so they will root through. You need some, you need, a lot of places say you need a 1 to 3 ratio of water to land but it doesn't it doesn't really matter the place where i got it from is like a, a fish tank um mostly full of water like three quarters full of water with a, a bit of rock sticking out so this is paradise compared to that um i've got a slight bank the slates are a bit movie but there ain't crap so it shouldn't matter that much um like i say this is probably about 50 50 land to water which, to be honest, it's fine. Um, I've seen one or two up here, just sitting down, hiding underneath the plants. Oh, sorry about that. Um, as I say, they are crabs, red, red clawed crabs. They do like hiding underneath the leaves here. And you want some sort of floating plant like this. Yeah, it's probably all going to die in the end, but um, you want some sort of floating plant or a lot of hiding places like this slate bank. Um, he's just moved. Um, he might have a go at that millworm, I'm not quite sure. I think I've got three males and one female, which is, isn't a good idea, but it, it was all I had and I didn't really know how to sex them. Um, but as you can see that male did have ginormous claws and 
that is one of the ways of telling. I don't know if there's any more down there. Um, so light and the waterfall. The waterfall, I turn it on about nine o'clock in the morning, eight, nine o'clock in the morning. And I'll leave it running all through until about 10 o'clock at night. So it's more natural. I can't keep it going all through the night because it'll do my heading with trickling water. I'll constantly need a piss. Um, plus it makes a little humming noise just from the pump's motor and all that. So I can't have that going on all night. Um, and the light I have, what do I have? An Arcada. Um, can't remember what wattage it is. It's one of the lower wattages. Um, it's just an LED lighting just to help the plants grow, which it is doing. Um, as you can see, all these plants are attaching up at the top because it's all mesh. Um, so the plants are doing really well. You just want to keep on top of that. I usually do the plant, the, the lights the same. Usually 9 till 10-ish. Um, you want more 50-50 light and not light just so the plants can rest and grow for the next morning. As you can see, um, if you look at my channel, I do have a full review of this tank and how I built it and everything that I did. Um, I will be doing another tank, um, hopefully for these guys. If not, I will should have some form of animal. I don't know what yet. Um, I'm sorry there's just one that you can see. The other three must be hiding. Well, peace out guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please comment what video I should do next. And I do have other animals, so I will be doing reviews of them. And hopefully see you guys later. Um, peace out guys. Have a good day.